In this video, I'm going to show you how I turn these items into a cute dog room. I picked up this wrought iron pet bed from Let Go for about $25. I picked up this sign from Burlington, this cute sign for about $3. I also picked up um, a coat rack from the Goodwill for about $3 as well. And then I picked up this American Dog Closet from Facebook Marketplace for about $20. And I also created a video on this um, that I posted to, to YouTube separately because this process took a little bit longer and I didn't want this video to be too long. So you'll be able to see how I redesigned this entire closet and created a new design out of it to make it match the room we are about to do right now. So this video tutorial will demonstrate how I decorated it and repainted the other items that I just listed. So here's the wrought iron pet bed. I'm spray painting different accents gold. So I took blue masking tape and wrapped the areas I didn't want to spray paint and spray painted the accent pieces, which are the little swirls and the little knob at the top of the bed gold. And now we're gonna add spray paint to the coat rack as well and spray paint the entire coat rack. So now that everything's been spray painted and dried, we are just removing the masking tape to reveal how our spray paint went and to make sure that everything that we wanted to cover is covered. All right, so now all the items are completely painted and done. Again, you can see the video to creating the closet in the description box below. I'll link it there and also to this video. So now we're gonna start moving all of the complete items upstairs to the little den area that I want to make his room out of. As an accent piece, I wanted to create a little wooden sign with his name on it. Um, so I picked up the letter R from Walmart and the crown and the letters from the Dollar Tree and also the little wooden dog you see there I also picked up from the Dollar Tree. The paint I used from Walmart and the glitter I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, so I'm just creating my own little design. I painted the letters black and I painted the crown gold. And now I'm just decorating the star that I got from the Dollar Tree as well and gluing it creating a little pattern on top of the R that I bought from Walmart. And I painted that R white just because I thought that that would be a good color combination with his room. Now I'm taking a little poster board that I had and spray painting it black. Um, it'd be much easier if you just buy a black poster board, but I didn't I didn't buy it and I thought about this last minute. Um, I'm gonna use this as the background for the letter R that I just decorated. So I thought that having it black would make it look a lot better. So I spray painted it black. And now I'm decorating the wooden dog that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, please don't judge my painting skills. I am not a great painter and I tried to paint this dog to look like Rue 
and it came out okay but it also looks like a five-year-old could have done a better job than me so <laughs> don't judge it Okay, and that is the final version of my dog with his little blue ball. And now I'm just painting um, a plaque white. This plaque I also got from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to make this a sign um, to just make it known that this is his room. So I'm painting the background of this white and I'm picking out the letters I want to use and what I want to say. Um, and I went with Rue's play space. So I'm spray painting those letters gold and I'm going to make the play um, multicolor blue because his room is going to have blue accents. As we let that set and dry for a moment, we're going to come back to our black poster board and glue down our letter with the decorations on it and the crown. Um, I have this gold ribbon piece that I'm gluing down that I also got from the Dollar Tree. And that's E6000 glue and I'm just going to glue that to the base of the poster board just as an accent piece because I added gold to his gold glitter, should I say, to his crown. And I wanted that gold glitter to kind of stand out so that little ribbon strip is going to help bring that out a little bit and now I'm just gluing everything down. So we're going to set it to the side and let the glue dry and while it's drying we're going to glue down our little blue ball. Rue actually has a blue ball in real life. It's his favorite toy so um, I added that accent to the dog and now that the letters are completely dry we're gonna now start gluing those down as well. So it's just a, a lot of switching out and letting things dry while working on a different task. Um, so multiple things at once. Finally I'm adding a black ribbon to hang the plaque with. So now I'm laying out all the things that I bought from Walmart. That's a storage bin, a pillowcase, a miniature pillow from Dollar Tree, and storage bins from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just setting thing up, everything up and organizing it the way that I want. That is a night light that I got from the Dollar Tree. And now I'm putting on um, wall stickers to hang up the sign that I made with the letter R and the black poster board. So now we're going to also lay out all of his clothes to put into his closet. And as you can see, Rue had a lot of clothes. So I'm just getting everything out so I can then organize it. Um, and that was, that is pretty much it. Um, these clothes is, that's pretty much what started this entire process because I was running out of room of where I wanted to put his stuff. So I was like, it started with the closet and I was like, maybe it'd be cute if I made an entire room out of it. So here we are. <laughs>
and I'm just organizing everything in his closet and that was a task but you know we got it done and it came out cute so now I'm gonna add the final touches with a label for toys for his toy bin um, and now I'm gonna organize everything and put everything away I also got a little mat that says you had me at wolf from the Dollar Tree we'll put all his toys away and voila the room is complete <laughs> Um, this room was actually very affordable to make. I think I'd spent a total of $80. I'm going to list everything that I bought um, in the description box below with the prices labeled next to them. The biggest um, things that I purchased that cost the most were the closet and the wrought iron pet bed. But yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and go into the comment section below and give any advice or ask me any questions because I am new to YouTube and I want to hear you guys' feedback and what you like and what you don't like. Um, but thank you for watching. Bye.